today we will study about computer system bus uh, in this uh, we focus upon various types of buses and different types of configurations of those buses hello everyone in today's lecture we will discuss about uh, the system buses in the system bus as we know they are nothing but a group of wires which can transmit the data from one component of the system to another let us look it in detail if we talk about the basic concept of bus uh, bus means we refers to a computer the bus is also called as address bus data bus or local bus is a data connection between two or more devices connected to a computer for example a bus enables the communication of data in between the processor memory processor and some io processing devices like video card audio card etc a bus is capable of transmitting the data either in parallel or serial we can categorize the bus into two different types one is internal bus and second one is external or expansion bus a internal bus enables the communication between internal components such as video card and memory whereas the external bus is capable of communicating with external components such as usb or scsi devices if we look at the architecture we can say that the bus are categorized into three different types data bus address bus and control bus a bus is a common pathway through which information flows from one computer component to another this path is used for communication purpose and it is established between two or more computer components uh, where we can transmit the data the purpose of data bus is to send or receive data in between the components of the computer the data is being transferred by the data bus either in the serial or in parallel method of data transfer this allows for the exchange of 1 bit 2 bit 4 bit 8 bit of data at a time where a bit is a uh, either 1 or 0 whereas a byte is a combination of 8 such bits buses are classified depending upon many bits they can move as a uh, at the same time uh, we can classify the bus into 8 bit bus 16 bit 32 bit or uh, 64 bit bus it is very obvious uh, if the bus is parallel bus then the data can be transmitted faster because the parallel bus can transmit number of bits parallelly it may be 8 bit 16 bit 32 bit or 64 bit as we have discussed in the last slide if the parallel data is transmission uh, transmitted through the bus it requires ex extra hand shaking line is also uh, be there in order to synchronize the transmission of data address bus the address bus is a bunch of lines uh, by which Uh, the cpu pass the address to the memory it is used to transfer the address uh, either to to the devices or the memory that is the hardware address the address is stored in the form of binary numbers that enables to establish the connection of uh, the processor uh, to the memory the collection of wires connecting 
सी पी यू मेन मेमोरी एंड सी पी यू विद आई ओ डिवाइसिस आर यूज टू आइडेंटिफाई अ पर्टिकुलर लोकेशन एंड दैट इज डन बाई द एड्रेस बस द वेथ ऑफ द एड्रेस बस दैट इज द नंबर ऑफ वायर्स इट कंटेन्स विल डिटरमाइन हाउ मैनी यूनिक मेमोरी लोकेशन द बस कैन आइडेंटिफाई लाइक हियर If the size of the address bus is one bit, uh, you can look at the table. It can address two memory locations. If the size of the memory uh, address bus is, uh, you can say, four byers, then it can address sixteen different memory locations. Similarly, if the size of the uh, address bus is sixteen bits, then it can address 64k of address space control bus or control lines it is basically a group of conducting wires which is used to generate timing and control signals to control all associated peripherals the microprocessor use control bus to process data that is what to do with the selected memory locations some control signals which are generated by the control bus are like memory read memory write io read io write opcode fetch etc first time in uh, history of the computer 8085 architecture introduced multiplex buses it is the architecture which has got limited number of pins that is 16 pins uh, for using for the purpose of data bus as well as the address bus in this architecture the speciality is that the lower order buses are used as a uh, data bus as well as address bus and now bus type the bus uh may be of dedicated bus uh where a separate data bus is there and separate address lines are there and also the another type of bus is multiplex bus basically in multiplex bus uh the processor do not have the separate lines for data transmission and for address transmission but the processor share those lines data lines and address lines at some point of time with a some control signal the data bus is considered as the address bus and at some other point of time the same could be considered as the data bus so the um, this kind of multiplex bus has its own advantage and disadvantage the advantage is that the processor need less number of lines and with those less number of lines the processor can take the work of both the address bus as well as the data bus whereas in the uh, if we look at the uh, disadvantage uh, it is that it makes the architecture more complicated but overall it is uh, advantages for the system it makes the system more faster a system can be classified as synchronous one and asynchronous the transmission can be done uh, based on clock signal or without clock signal when the transmission in between uh, two components inside the system like cpu and the memory is being done based on the clock pulse then the transmission is called the synchronous transmission as we all know that in the synchronous transmission all the components can share or can read the clock line and based on those clock pulses which are continuous it performs the operation all the operations in the synchronous system are done with the leading edge of the clock in the asynchronous system there is no clock 
is required and the all the operations of data transmission and other kind of operations are dependent upon the previous event and once the event is started or ended then only the next event can be started look at the timing diagram of synchronous system in the timing diagram of synchronous system there are multiple t states t1 t2 and t3 and so on uh, those are also called clock pulses so uh, when the system started the control line that is called status line holds a control signal and the address line holds the address this is the case where uh, we can uh, consider a system with multiplex bus in the case of multiplex bus uh, the bus size is 16 bit in 8085 processor and the lower order address bus is also used as a data bus when address latch enable signal it is called address enable here in this diagram when address enable signal is high the lower order address bus or you can say the lower order bus will be considered as address bus so the full address is available in the case of read cycle when the full address is available in that t state t2 the address enable signal goes down it means that the lower order bus becomes a data bus and after the in the after the end of t state t2 the data is available and the data is available by on the data bus similarly in the write cycle also the same thing will happen in the write cycle as the processor knows the address where the data has to be written the data is available on the uh, the address is available on the address bus for t state t2 and t3 when the write signal goes high then the data will be stored at specified memory location pci bus pci stands for peripheral component interconnection a pci bus was developed in uh, 1993 by intel and it was mainly used for interconnecting processor with its chipset it is very successful and widely used bus and it is faster than isa that is industrial standard architecture bus uh, the pci bus is maybe of 32 bit or 64 bit it works at around 66 megahertz and it can transmit the data at the rate of 528 mbps scsi scsi stands for small computer system interface uh, it is a high speed intelligent peripheral io device bus with a device independent protocol it allow different peripheral devices or the system and the host to be interconnected on the same bus depending upon the type of sci scsi you may have uh, from 8 to 16 devices which could be interconnected uh, through this system uh, it was developed in 1981 and it may be connected with different type of devices and scsi use hand shaking signals between the devices and then it starts the communication in the block diagram we can see uh, how scsi bus is used to connect the host adapter to the uh, peripheral devices we can connect the peripheral devices like hard disk printer cd rom and many other io devices with the help of scsi bus